Hey, I'm Paul Begay, AST Systems Designer. So, we're ready to stock fish. Uh, it's been five weeks? No, it's been six weeks. And um, we were ready to stock last week, um, filter-wise. Filter was acclimated, but we weren't ready to stock the fish uh, due to other factors. And that happens all the time with keeping fish and animal husbandry in general. So, we're ready to stock this week. Um, one thing that um, we need to be sure of is that the water quality conditions of the culture tank are the same as the water quality conditions uh, from which the fish are coming. So we've got rearing tanks in another greenhouse and we pulled koi, juvenile koi, from those rearing tanks. Now we did water quality tests. Uh, to make sure that water quality in the their old home is the same as their new home. All right. So what we're going to do now uh, is we're going to uh, first of all, our fish are inside of here. All right. So we have five fish that are going to be uh, tough to see in there. Again, we're using recycled materials. This is a, a brute trash can. Um, again, anything that's lying around that works for you, uh, that's watertight, that won't leach any chemicals uh, onto the fish. So we use this brute trash can to move fish all the time. Uh, we're using this battery powered bubbler to keep uh, aeration going inside of this transport tank. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to siphon water from our new tank into the culture water that they've been living in to acclimate the fish. All right. Once I do that, we're then going to leave this system uh, alone and we're going to let the fish acclimate temperature and um, various other water quality conditions for two to three hours. We're gonna check on them every 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, and then once we feel like the water uh, in the new tank is the same as the water in the old tank, the fish have acclimated, we're gonna go ahead and move them in. All right, so I'm gonna start that process right now. Anytime you put your hands inside of a fish tank, make sure they're real clean. So this is a tiny drip siphon, tiny little bit of water going in that's going to slowly fill and slowly change so that the fish can acclimate. Again, very, very slowly. Don't just net your fish out and throw them into a new tank, all right? So I'm going to leave it here and we're going to pick back up uh, in a few hours and see where we're at, all right? Thanks so much. Okay, so uh, it's been about an hour and a half and we've been dripping water from uh, our new system water into uh, mixing with the old system water and we've got our five koi these are our test fish they're about um, uh, let's say six to eight maybe even ten inches long um, and we're going to be putting these fish in our water temperature is identical between old water and new water um, the fish are nice and lively in uh, our transport tank, so I'm going to go ahead and net them out. Again, I want to make sure that I eliminate stress on the animals in this circumstance. So I'm going to slowly put my net inside of the tank. They're already a little bit stressed being inside there. So I want to slowly net them out. And then I want to slowly drop them into their new tank. And 
in nice and easy, all right? Don't just dump them right in. Take your time here, all right? Especially if these if there are only a few fish. So we really don't want to stress them out. Okay, so we've netted all of our fish out of our transport tank. We can discard this water. We've got uh, our fish in the new tank water, new system. We've been keeping track of all of our uh, important water quality parameters. Uh, the filter's been acclimated for about uh, 10 days at this point, and we feel confident that we can start feeding the fish immediately. Uh, so we're not going to feed them right now. They won't eat right now. They just went through kind of a stressful event. So what we'll do is we'll see if they're hungry later on this afternoon. We'll give them a couple minutes after we put feed inside the tank to eat. If they don't eat it, remember, we take that feed out, all right? Don't let feed sit inside of the tank uh, for more than maybe three to five minutes, all right? So. Um, now what we get to do is we get to feed and we get to get some nutrients to our plants and they need it, all right? So hopefully in the coming weeks, we get a lot of green up, we get some new growth. Uh, and, um, and again, growing plants, growing fish, and we're gonna do this inside this greenhouse all winter long. So we'll do a couple more update videos on how this little system is um is working for us all right thanks so much